dense fog of nothingness, a ship appears along the horizon, heading towards an island with a light at the top. This ship is stopping at this island to let off the watchmen who watch this light. And as the service members pass each other, they don't even acknowledge each other. As one treasures in and the other is out, this is only a place of duty and business. There is no time for niceties. As the ship leaves the island with the returning watchmen, the two new watchmen watch as their final connection to the outside world disappears into the fog. This is their last contact with the outside world. The Lighthouse, a film by Robert Eggers, is a chamber film shot in black and white with an almost square aspect ratio. It is a film about two watchmen of a lighthouse, and while stranded, they explore the ideas of rules, relationships, and the knowledge of God himself as they slowly go crazy there. By looking at these two watchmen, you can tell that one of them is a grizzled veteran and the other one is a far younger, spry watchman. They are a mirror of each other of age. And as these two watchmen sit down for their first meal together, we learn that the old watchman recites old sailor's poems and gives a toast, but the young watchman refuses. And this brings up the old watchman's superstition while it brings up the young watchman's need to follow the rules. The first paradigm that this film brings about is the concept of rules, their existence, why they're there, what their purpose they serve, and people's relationship to them, how they feel to follow them, bend them, break them. Rules are a superstition that society just legitimizes, but in some way can be just as crazy as old sailor superstition as we can tell. The young watchman quickly learns it's better to drink liquor than water, a message to him that to survive the craziness here, you have to imbibe in the craziness. Superstition and dogma rule the lighthouse, the source of which is the boredom of the isolation on being on the island. And your own imagination has to keep you going, but your personal superstitions will haunt you. And as the push and pull between the young watchman Winslow and the old watchman Thomas comes to a climax, we realize that their relationship, the central theme of it, is based around the dynamics of the senior and the junior. Whether it's between an old friend and a young friend, boss and worker, father and son, or God and man. The vassal, to some degree, wishes they were the Lord. Winslow and Thomas represent this dichotomy. The youth is too big for their britches and flies too close to the son and rebels against the father. The senior pokes and prods the junior makes them abide by dogma that makes no sense and is a poor teacher and a harsh critic. And I feel like this dichotomy is very relevant to the times we currently live in. Society today is actually all about the push and the pull between the young and the old. You could say that we are currently in our own lighthouse. The elders of our society lord over us. Look how many elected officials are geriatrics. Wealth is insanely skewed to age. Young people have far smaller of a percentage of wealth than previous generations had. And Winslow just wants a normal life with the respect and modest wealth that comes with it. And Thomas just finds that boring and actively sabotages this goal. The thematic use of light in this film is great because it's not only a literal thing that the characters care about and fight over, it is also used in the cinematography. Light seems to be such a limited, hoarded commodity. Whether there is no light for Winslow when he is at night or in the morning, Thomas is bathed in it, in the gloriousness of the lighthouse. Even as the characters are just eating dinner together, they hunch over the light that they have at their table because it's all that they have. That's all that we have to see them with. So the cinematography also points towards this preciousness of light, of knowledge, of understanding, of power. And us as a viewer also find that light so precious because that's what allows us to see into this story. The lighthouse represents to the watchman knowledge, 
and power. That's why Thomas hoards it for himself, and all that Winslow desires is to take it from him. That's why Winslow, after killing Thomas, is destined to the fate of Prometheus, of after giving fire to humanity, is strapped to a rock and has birds pecking out his liver for the rest of eternity which is why thomas represents zeus in so many great ways zeus is a selfish god and does not want to share his wisdom his light his power with the younger generations thanks for watching my analysis on the lighthouse if you like this please like and subscribe to the channel help support it and if you'd consider supporting me on Patreon, it would go a long way. Thank you, and see you next time.